Hello friends, this video on coordinate geometry part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. Let's do some example on section formula. Find the coordinates of the point which divides the join of minus 1, 7 and 4, comma minus 3 to h to 3 ratio. So let's draw this line here. This is minus 1, comma 7, let's suppose. And this is 4, comma minus 3. And let's name this line A and B. And let this e, C be the point and 2 is to 3 is the ratio. We can directly use the formula if you remember or the logic which I told. You take this, you multiply with this, you take this, you multiply with this and divide by some of this process. So x, you are taking about x, cx or c you take x, that will come out to be you take 2 and this is 4. So 2 into 4 plus you take 3, 3 into minus 1. 3 into minus 1 divided by 2 plus 3. Correct. So this becomes 8 minus 3 by 5, that is 5 by 5, that is 1. So this point is 1, comma. Now if you want to find y also. So to find y, same thing. You take 2, you multiply with y component here. So 2 into minus 3 plus you take 3, this one, you multiply with this y component here, 7 divide by 2 plus 3 is common there 2 plus 3 so this becomes 2 into 3 is minus 6 and 7 into 3 is 21 plus 21 by 5 that is 15 by 5 plus 3 so this becomes 1 comma 3 and that is my answer so my answer is 1 comma 3 c is equal to 1 comma 3 very simple we just use the shortcut way you took this, multiply with this, you took this, multiply with this, or we can use a normal formula also. Normal formula you can have, you have, you just have this formula, this is m1, this is m2, this is x1, this is x2, this is y1, this is y2. You can use the formula, normal formula as x is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 and y is equal to m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by m1 plus m2. So you have x and y formula, you have m1 m2, you have x1 x2 y1 y2. Apply the formula, you will get the same answer. Any approach is fine. Let's take this question. The question says find the coordinates of the point to the trisection of the line joining 4 comma minus 1 and 2 comma minus 3. So the question says there are two points this is 4 comma minus 1 and this is minus 2 comma minus 3 and let this point be A and this point B. We have to find the coordinates of the trisection of line segment. So we have divided this into three part, three equal part and this point be C and D and all this uh, distance is same. This is let's suppose K unit, this is K unit and this is B unit. So if you see the point C divides this line into ratio k by 2k. So c divides in k by 2k. That is 1 by 2, 1 by 2 ratio. Point d divides in ratio 2k by k. Because this side is 2k, this side is k. So d is nothing but 2k by k. It divides and that comes out to be 2 is to 1. So d is Dividing this line into 2 is to 1 ratio and C is dividing the line ratio 1 is to 2 ratio. So let's find the point C. So if you see this point C it divides in ratio 1 is to 2. Correct? So let me draw once again here. This is 4, this is minus 1, this is minus 2, minus 3, and this is C, and this is 1 is to 2 ratio. Correct? So you will take this 1 here, you will multiply with this, you will take this 2 here, you will multiply with this. So for C you are going to find the value of x, x will be 1 into minus 2 because this is minus 2 here, 1 into minus 2 plus 2 into 4, 2 into 4 by m1 plus m2 which is 1 plus 2. This is nothing but minus 2 and 6. 
8 minus 2 plus 8 it is 6 by 3 that is 2. So Cx we got. Similarly C by same thing 1 into this is minus 3 here y component minus 3 plus 2 into y component is minus 1 minus 1 by 1 plus 2 correct. So this becomes minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5 by 3. So we got the y component. So point C is nothing but 2 comma minus 5 by 3. That is the value of point C. This one. This 2 comma minus 5 by 3. Let's find D. For D also same thing here, we'll plot here like this. It is easy actually because you don't need to remember formula. If you remember formula well and good. If not, you can use this approach. This is point D and 2 is to 1 is the ratio. Same thing we'll do. We'll 2 multiply with this. 1 will multiply with this. So what will we get? Dx as 2 into minus 2 plus 1 into 4. 1 into 4 by 1 plus 2 or 2 plus 1. Same thing. Correct. So you get minus 4 plus 4 by 3 that is 0 by 3 that is 0. Similarly dy is nothing but 2 into 3 y component 2 into 3 plus this is 1 into minus 1 that is y component here again by 2 plus 1 6 minus 1 that is 5 6 sorry 2 power minus 3 this. 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 so minus 6 minus 1 that is minus 7 minus 7 by 3. So you got d as 0 comma minus 7 by 3. Therefore two points which we are looking for was two points C and D. The two points are nothing but 2 comma minus 5 by 3 and 0 comma minus 7 by 3. And that is the nice. answer. Correct. Let's take one more example on section formula. We have to find the ratio in which the line segment joining the points is divided by minus 1 comma 6. So instead of finding the points, you have to find the ratio in which this is divided. So if you draw this, the question says this is let's suppose minus 3 comma 10, this point is A, and this is another point B that is 6 comma minus 8, and this is the point C that divides in the ratio minus 1 comma 6. And let it divide in k is to 1 ratio. Let the ratio be k is to 1. Because if k is fraction, let's suppose k comes out to be 3 by 4, then 3 by 4 is to 1 is 3 by 4. So let the ratio be k, and k is to 1. Now, again, we have the same formula k into this point and 1 into this. So x is nothing but k into 6 plus 1 into minus 3 by k plus 1 and this value is nothing but minus 1 correct given also y is nothing but k into minus 8 plus 1 into 10 by k plus 1 and this value is nothing but 6 so we have got two equations. Let's solve this. The first equation says 6k minus 3, 6k minus 3 is equal to or plus k plus 1 is equal to 0. But the first equation says that 7k minus 2 is equal to 0 or k is equal to 2 by 7. If you solve the second equation, what we get? minus 8k plus 10 is equal to 6k plus 6 into 1 is 6 or you get to take this side 14k is equal to 10 minus 6 that is 4 correct or k is equal to 4 by 14 that is 2 by 7 in both cases we are getting same answer and that is correct actually logically you should get both same in both cases same answer so k is equal to 2 by, 2 by 7 so the answer is 2 by 7 is ratio 1, that is 2 is to 7. This is my answer. So this line segment which divides this uh, points 3, 10 and 6 minus 18 uh, in the ratio, 
the ratio is 2 is to 1. Let's take one more example. Find the ratio in which the line segment joining A, that is 1 comma minus 5, and B minus 4 comma 5 is divided by the x axis. Also called find the coordinates of the point of the division. So the question says this is A, this is B, this is 1 comma minus 5, and this is minus 4 comma 5, and this is x comma 0. Because the 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 question says it is x axis. You take any point in x axis, it will x comma 0 always. So this line is somewhere divided by x axis. So this will be x comma 0. So we define the ratio. So let the ratio be k is to 1. Let's apply the formula to find the y coordinate where the y coordinate is given to us, that is 0. So let's appoint the, the point B C. C y is nothing but k into 5 this one and 1 into minus 5. So k into 5 plus 1 into minus 5 by k plus 1 and that is 0 given. So we get 5k minus 5 is equal to 0 or you get k is equal to 1. So that means the line segment divided in the ratio 1 is to 1. That means this is the midpoint. Since this divides into 1 is to 1, we can find the value of x now. How? C of x is nothing but 1, this k is 1 into 5, sorry 1 into minus 4. We are talking about the x points. 1 into minus 4 plus again this is 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 by 1 plus 1. So this becomes minus 4 plus 1 that is minus 3 by 2. So x is equal to minus 3 by 2. Therefore the point we are talking about is minus 3 by 2 comma. So this point is nothing but minus 3 by 2 comma. Very simple. Since the 0 was given we can find the ratio. Ratio was 1 is to 1. Since we have the ratio we can find the value of x. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.